I'm a shipping agent in Immingham on the dock, so... Wow. We're a bit of a middleman for everything, bringing the ships in, getting them out and keeping everyone informed. Right. How do you relax? I like my football, play football, watch football. Do you spend any time on the boat yourself, Harry? Sometimes, sometimes. Because I'm not being funny. You actually sway yeah. when you're talking. Yeah. Maybe I've been on it too much, been working too hard. And it's quite off-putting. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I do apologise. I mean, I've gone very cl clammy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, well, I'm a civil servant, but in Bristol. Right, OK, yep. civil service, boring. My job's really, really interesting. I love my job. Really? Are you allowed to say what you do? I work for the Ministry of Defence. You can't say stuff like that. You're under the Official Secrets Act. I know, that's what I'm not going to tell you about my job. <laughs> but you just told us. Yeah, you don't know what I do, though. Are you a spy? I could be. Oh, that's unnerving. You've put... Mongo the Magnificent. Not a clue. Correct answer is... Yeah, the Mekon of Mekonta. Stay where you are. Chaser's put all over this, the Chaser. Yeah, it goes right, yeah. Mekon of... And, of course, Migna Merciless. Uh, Flash Gordon. Gordon's alive! <laughs> Unlike you, I don't like swimming. Last time I went for a dip, a little boy shouted, Look, Mummy, a walrus. <laughs> I mean, there was actually a walrus there. It's just I don't like children shouting. Chaser's put, here she comes. Goes right, moves a billion one. Never knew it had an H on the front. We always used to say screaming abdabs. That's exactly what we always used to say, yes. Yeah, I've never, never heard, heard of anyone say habdabs. No, never have. I think that's the posh version. It was. <laughs> it said many times by Stiffy Bing. <laughs> I have the screaming habdabs, don't you know? Ha uh, ha ha. We've had an NHS director and now we've got a pharmacy student. I'm beginning to think the NHS is under pressure because all the staff are on quiz shows. <laughs> Either that or they're just all trying to raise money to get the hospitals going. I work with a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you look even more like Viggo Mortensen when you stood next to a hobbit. <laughs> Bradley Wardrobe says you need your feet shaved again. <laughs> <laughs> Some unnecessary, isn't it? You've put... Navigation. Through with 51 grand, the correct answer is come on. Yes! <laughs> You've put New York Times. Yes. Yeah. Biggest. Correct answer is. Step close home, well done. Chase has put. Goes wrong with a Boston Globe. I'm doing a great job here, am I? No, you're not, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, but that's OK, <laughs> because we're spreading the game. Good, well played, Bex. A, equine. B, canine. C, feline. You've put... Feline. It's a cat. Correct answer is... Step close home, well done. Chase has put... Goes like also feline. Yeah. It's what we used to call the saber-toothed tiger, but now they've renamed it. It's, it's not so closely related to a tiger, so it's the saber-toothed cat. You'd be like that. You'd be like a tiger. <laughs> Here's next prehistoric question. times. Yes, what you would be. You'd be a tiger. <laughs> what do you do to relax? Well, I like to do degrees for a hobby. OK. Yep. Uh, like what? Well, I've got, I've got a first degree and I've got seven postgrads. Um, the last one I did was a master's in law. And is this just to keep the brain active? Yep. Have you ever thought about yep. crosswords? <laughs> boring, boring. Use it or lose it. Wow. If you win some money today, Wendy, what are you going to do with it? Knickers. Well, <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> A but... year's supply of knickers. My husband does the laundry, he shrinks my knickers, so I want to have brand-new knickers every day. I see the logic behind that entirely, whereas blokes, you see, are we only really need... 52 pairs of pants. <laughs> <laughs> What's your husband's name? Roger. Roger, cool wash, love. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, there you go, Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> there you go, Wendy. That's it, make her dizzy, that's great. <laughs> uh, OK, Corey, what do you say? No idea. Me neither, but I know that if I press the defrag button, it makes, it makes it look like it's got more room on it. What's a defrag button? 
It's a button that says defrag. That's that's my computer knowledge. Are you winding me up? No. <laughs> no. I've never seen anything that says defrag on it. Ah. That's why well, you don't run in Sasla. <laughs> <laughs> if you press the wrong buttons and end up in the wrong screen, you'll find it. I never knew that. Correct answer is. Is that why my computer's clogged up? Yeah, if you don't know, you don't know how to defrag, then yeah. What? Why don't people tell you this stuff? <laughs> I can't hang around anyway. I've got to go defrag. <laughs> as part of my job, I get to do a lot of travel, and that's part. It's of the... better be somewhere exciting, of. I don't go to interesting places, but I bring back lots of rum. I'm a big rum enthusiast. When I was a young man, I was told I was allergic to beer. Um, so I've decided to drink rum when I go around the world, collect various bits of rum, and I, I store it at home and drink it when I can. See, that conversation took a great turn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, best rum you've got, most exclusive rum you've got? It's probably a Nicaraguan rum. Is it? It's very nice. How many rums you got? 50. Yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Have you got a man cave? <laughs> I've got a man cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> with all my rum in it, yeah. And it's called a mubbard. A mubbard, <laughs> that's it, yeah. Next to face the chaser, it's Poppy. Is that your real name? No. What was your real name? Patricia. Patricia, but everyone calls you Poppy. From what age did they call you Poppy? It was from when I was little, and the awareness that Patricia gets shortened from Patricia to Pa. And I don't want to be called Pa. No, no, especially by... Especially by anyone who looks like a pirate. Um, <laughs> uh, in 1966, Shay Blythe and John Ridgway crossed the Atlantic using what form of transport? A, jet skis, B, rowing boat, C, hot air balloon. Come on. Come on, Izzy. Come hard. on, Izzy. A? <laughs> These are hard. <laughs> OK, here we go. You've put... Jet skis. I regret that now. <laughs> well, they tried first time, but they ran out of petrol as soon as they got past the Isle of Man. <laughs> they should have took some tanks. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> Only another thousand miles to go. <laughs>